more transforming. On this notes page, we are now looking at two-step equations. So now it's particularly important to trace through what's happening to our variable so that we can solve using inverse operations in the reverse order. Example number one, solve for r. Let's begin by tracing through what's happening to r in the equation. First, I'm multiplying r times i, and then I'm adding d. So r times i plus d. In order to solve, I will perform my inverse operations in reverse order. First, subtracting d, and then dividing by i. So in my equation times i plus d, in reverse order, minus d divided by i. We begin by subtracting d from both sides of my equation. That gives me b minus d equals i times r. My last inverse operation is to undo the fact that I'm multiplying r by i, so I'm going to divide both sides by i. Now to write this out, I'm not going to keep it as b minus d divided by i. I'm going to write b minus d in my numerator and i in my denominator. So this is my solution, r equals b minus d divided by i. I can't subtract d from b, I can't divide b minus d divided by i, so this is it, I'm done. In my next example, notice that I'm looking at the same variables and actually the same operations. I'm adding d and multiplying by i. However, I'm doing this in a different order. First, I'm adding d to r, and then I'm multiplying r plus d times i. So because of the parentheses, first I add d, and then I multiply by i. When I'm solving, my first inverse operation is to divide by i, and then I subtract d. Again, notice it's really important in what order my operations occur because that determines the order of my inverse operations. In this case, I'm not subtracting d first. I'm first dividing by i. Dividing by i. b divided by i, I'm going to write with that fraction bar. b divided by i. And then i times r plus d divided by i is just r plus d. Last inverse operation is to subtract d from both sides of my equation. b Oh, I need more space. b divided by i minus d is my solution. It equals r. b divided by i minus d.